The Hot Wheels, Poison Pinto, and the Bone Shaker are undoubtedly my favorite Hot Wheels castings. Hello everybody and welcome back to Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. <clears throat> As you all know, uh, I'm not a huge Hot Wheels fan, but I do respect them. And, uh, well, that's why uh, Matchbox Mark, because I'm more into Matchboxes. Anyway, uh, my two favorite castings are the Poison Pinto and the Bone Shaker. Uh, and if you think about the names of the Hot Wheels back in the 60s and early 70s, they had some creative geniuses uh, who would name these castings. And then uh, eventually the Matchbox Super Fast came into the cool names like Stretcha Fetcha, uh, Supa Koopa, and Mini Ha Ha, and things like that. So um, I think the names are cool. So I apologized. Uh, I apologize to all the purists out there because I'm going to take this Poison Pinto and I'm going to customize it. Uh, obviously, uh, on my channel, for all my faithful viewers, if you ever notice, uh, I don't think I've ever restored a Hot Wheels. Uh, mainly because the Spectre Flame kind of intimidates me, to be honest with you. And it's just not my thing. Uh, but however, I do my customs. My theme builds are always Hot Wheels, the Chargers, and the Challengers, and the, and the Road Runners. So, but this one here... Uh, I'm going to customize. Now, what... Why I thought about this casting, I was watching Don the Diecast Pirate. Go check him out. And he's he's kind of new to the community. And he's a, he's a talented guy. So, I was watching him do an unboxing, I think it was, or something. I can't remember. And he, had a, he has a Poison Pinto. And so, I immediately went on eBay and had to purchase one. I think I paid like 10 bucks for this. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, stay tuned, uh, kick back, put on your seatbelts, enjoy the ride as I customize this Poison Pinto. See you in a bit. All right, the Poison Pinto, one of my favorite Hot Wheels castings. So this is the thing. On the side, real popular casting. So, I'm going to do a custom. So, take a good look at it, because everything you see is not going to be uh, there at the end. So, let's take it apart. Now, I am not a fan of jacked up cars in the back. When I was younger, it was really common to jack up the, the old Novas. I was like, man, if you did that, you have made it big. If you could jack up your Nova. Let's take out the casting or the chassis. Already drilled it out. One post. All right. So here we go. Wheel swap for sure in the future. I need to figure out... If I put flat wheels, if it'll sit flat, it looks like it will. All right, let's take out the interior here and see what we're dealing with. And it looks like, there we go. This comes right off, I think. All right. So it doesn't have a back window. So here we go. What do we got in the back? All kinds of goodies in these castings that when you take them apart. Looks like we got some wrenches, some screwdrivers. Looks like a snake, but obviously it's not. I don't know what that is. Huh. Anyway, say goodbye to the chrome. And... Say goodbye to the engine. That is going to go bye-bye. Which means I need to save the grill part. Alright, so there it is. I'm going to take out the uh, 
or drill the post for a set screw. And then uh, take out the tires and see what I've got. See you in a bit. All right, now I'm ready to tap the hole. I drilled it. And didn't really want to film that process. It's kind of boring, actually. But this is the fun part when you get to tap a hole and... Let's see if I can do it with the camera. This post is very small. I know I drilled a pretty deep hole. But it might be... Oh, did I blow out the post? Well, let's check it out. Looks like I did. No big deal. I can always glue it. It's not the end of the world. Let me blow out a post. But, if I ever want to take it apart again, which, why would I actually? Let me see here. Oh, yeah. Looks like it fit just right. So there's that. Now, for the engine, I'm going to cut the engine off and keep this. Now let's see if we can take out the tire. They look like they just pry right out. Or, in that case, I could just cut them out, since I'm going to do a wheel swap anyway. There we go. Now I'm hoping this will sit flat, so it doesn't matter what wheels I put in. My pro my thing is, as you can see, the difference in height. So I need to shave the end down, or basically just cut it with a a die grinder. All right, I'm gonna do that off camera, and then when I'm done, I'll be right back. See you in a bit. All right, so a little update. Uh, I cut off the engine. So uh, there's that. And here's the chassis. I trimmed off the rear uh, end so it wouldn't be jacked up. So it does look pretty flat. I cut off the wheels, cut the window. Uh, I'm going to do a clear window, definitely. And then here's the front grill part. Cut that off from the engine, and here's the engine. It's a cool engine. I'll be saving this for another build. I always save my engine that I take out. So, in the stripper, she will go. And then, obviously, I have got a huge hole to fill up. And you know what that means. Jim Silva time. A little JB Weld action. All right, folks, see you soon. All right, here's an update on my Poison Pinto. So I was going to do the JB Weld on the hood, but I'm like, why not just do a piece of styrene? So there it is. Pretty close. There is a little gap, but, you know, it's not going to be perfect. So anyway, now I'm going to figure out the wheels before I primer it because I always have a bad habit of doing the wheels after it's painted and I end up scratching it and dinging it and all that other good stuff so all right next is the wheels stick around all right here's the Pinto there's my hood hopefully by the time I paint it everything will look okay and I'm gonna paint it a 
Candy Lime Green. Second time I've used this paint. So I'm excited. It'll come out good. All right. See you soon. All right. I am ready to assemble the Poison Pinto. Got her all painted up. Nice Candy Lime Green to the interior. All right. Stick around for the final reveal. All right, before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started with. The Poison Pinto. All right, let's see where I ended up. All right, it is time for the reveal for my Poison Pinto. So, like I said originally, this is my favorite Hot Wheels casting. And I only have really two favorites, this one and the Bone Shaker. So... Uh, I went with the Candy Lime Green because I really like it. This is the second time I think I've ever used this color. And did a tire swap. And it rolled really good, which is cool. And took out the engine. Painted the interior. Uh, did the front grill in black. It was chrome. So let me explain why I turned it into the Hulk Mobile. First of all, the Hulk is cool, and I know I've already done a theme build with the Hulk, but uh, since I did it in green, and the Hulk is green, I had some extra decals, I'm like, yeah, I'll just throw them on this car. Um, because when I was done, all I had was the hood and the rest of the car. So there was a lot of surface area on this car to cover, so I decided to go with the Hulk. So there you have it. The thing to the Hulk. So leave a, leave a comment uh, about this build, if you like it or not. And if, uh, if you don't like it, just be respectful. Uh, that's all I ask. Obviously, not everybody's going to like every casting I put out. But uh, anywho, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you so very much. Thanks to my faithful ones. And I'll catch you on the next build. And if you leave a disrespectful comment, uh, I might have to get the Hulk after you. All right, see you next time. That's all, folks.